the great awakening or great awakening, you might call it. You might even say triggered. Let me just grab a pen, a good pen. Welcome back for another Weekend Wrap with Punchlines. Perhaps not the best week for the GOP and the conservative movement. A couple of conservative justice, you might say, came out of the closet and seemed to be on the side of civil rights for the gay and trans communities. In the Supreme Court, they have uh, issued a ruling that now bans discrimination by employers against transgender individuals and gay individuals. What? Re something good happened? This is... This is incredible. Break out the champagne. And they're off. And right out of the gate, the general's in second position, trying to help Mano Mayo from making an ass of himself. After 130 years, it is officially time to pour one out for Aunt Jemima. Don't worry, I'll put pancakes on the floor. Debates about police reform, what defunding police means, and even debates about Aunt Jemima and other commercial products. I think I've done more for the black community than any other president. And let's take a pass on Abraham Lincoln because he did Good, although it's always questionable. You know, in other words, the end result. Well, we are free, Mr. President. But we he are did free. pretty well. You understand what I mean. <laughs> yeah, no, so I'm, I'm going to take a pass on a, a honest Abe, as we call it. Bob, I wrote a book about uh, your house being on fire. I would love to send it to you, but you know, the house burned down. As if Donald Trump wasn't having a bad enough week already, John Bolton's book came out and revealed a lot about the inside machinations of the Trump White House. Better than hydroxy, better than drinking bleach. It's a miracle. It's Mega Immunity for your active, enraged lifestyle. Your first dose of MAG immunity will be administered by President Donald Trump himself, live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Don't miss our interview with Emery Douglas, the Minister of Culture for the Black Panthers back in the 1960s, whose work has found a newfound resonance.